Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Fight the grass is greener syndrome. Fight the grass is greener. And you know, that's a common, that's a common uh, cliche, common term. People, it generally means people leaving a good situation thinking they're going to get into a better situation. Now, let me be clear. I specifically mean good situation because if you're in a bad situation, like and like one of the main ones is in relationships. I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into that because that's where it happens the most. If you're in an abusive relationship, a bad relationship, get out, run. Anything will be better. But let's be real. People generally have that grass as greener syndrome when they actually in a good relationship with an attractive mate. Then they thinking, yeah, but I can get better. They not satisfied with what they had, you know? They think, yeah, they getting all this, but then they'll focus on the bad stuff and it, it's not even gonna be major. So what do they do? They'll leave that good situation thinking they want to uh, get something better, but usually don't because what they thinking they're going to get better is usually an illusion. And really the real issue was they didn't work to maintain what they had. Like, like I say, it could be, it could be whatever, like mainly in relationships, it could be in jobs, situations, friendships, because the thing is, People like one of the things people say, hey, if you instead of thinking the grass is greener on the other th on the other side, what are your own damn grass? And that's really what it is. And there's uh, there's been numerous people like they like, OK, with the relationship, that is the best example. People have a good mate, somebody treating them well. And no, yeah, there's going to be some little stuff, but that's that's normal. It's actually healthy because then both of you can grow. But they'll think, well, I'm gonna get this other person. I'm gonna get this other person. And it might look good for a minute, but then they find out that person was worse. <laughs> they find out that grass wasn't real anyway. It, it was just something, some artificial stuff put down. <laughs> and then, you know, they might try to get back with the other person, but the other person went on, moved on. Look, and it, that's along the lines of what I always talk about appreciation. You got to appreciate what you have. Sometimes the reality is you might not do any better. And okay, that's a common example with relationships. It could be the same thing with a job. It could be the same thing with a job. You get some people who will jump from job to job. I've actually seen it. They'll leave a job thinking they're doing better, they end up coming back. I've seen it so many times at so many different levels. They end up coming right back. They thought they had a good thing going, shoot. And I always said I've had a thousand jobs. This one time I did that. You know, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna get this. I had a good job. I'm rolling out thinking, oh, I'm gonna do something better. It wasn't at the time, it wasn't. Hey, all the jobs weren't great. Let's put it like that. But. You know, you gotta fight that. You gotta fight that. Like I said, the only time you should leave a situation if it's definitely bad. Like if it's definitely bad and beyond the points you can't fix it no matter what you do, it's abusive. And then if you do go on to something, it can't, because you, it can't be because you think it'll be better or it looks good on the surface. Like that's in a relationship or um, that's in a job, that's in a situation. You gotta really look at it, don't think it. Go beyond the surface, look at every little thing. Indeed, if you, honestly, really, if you leave a, leave a bad, si or any situation, don't just leave and go to something else. Cause that's where you get in trouble. If you gotta get out of a relationship, something ain't right, you just get out of it and then take some time to yourself, seriously or friendship, whatever. Take some time to yourself. Don't jump into the next one because then you really, honestly, if there's a problem with the grass that you're leaving, you really haven't probably been taking care of it. So that means whatever problems you had at first, you bring it with you to the next situation. 
because it takes two to tangle. The relationship example again. That might have, like, everything, you know, might have been decent, but there might have been some little things. You're in that relationship, too. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you truly doing your best? Are you truly doing everything you can? Or are you being a little boy or a little girl about it and thinking, me, me, me? Are you watering the grass? Or even on the job, even on the job. Is it a really a bad job? You probably thought it was good, it was decent. But did you really explore what you're moving on to? Now, it's different if you're just moving up. It's different. It's a different situation if you're just moving up. And it's definitely, it's definitely, okay, this is something you, that you qualified for. You can make more money. That's something else. But then one of the things I've seen, people will go, will go from job to job. They're making the same amount of money. It's basically the same job, doing the exact same thing, just somewhere else. And then they realize it's not better. Like I said, I've seen it. On those thousand jobs, I've lost count of how many people try to come back. will leave and then end up coming back. And they actually said, oh, it wasn't what I thought it would be. Did you know for sure? See, you got to fight that thing. You got to like, first of all, like I said, if it's a bad situation, bad situation, job, whatever, it's friendship, relationship, if it's just bad, get out, but don't jump into something new. Now, if it's, everything is good, like you got to weigh it. If, you, if it's still mostly good, whatever the situation, mostly good, you knows what I'm saying? Don't get caught up in that whole shiny thing, oh, there's better over there. You don't know what's all going on over there. You want to say, all right, it's mostly good. Let me work on the bad stuff. Let me water the grass. Let me water the grass. And the reason why I'm pointing this out, because whenever someone will have that grass is greater syndrome, it's very, 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 very rare someone will report that things were actually better long term. Oh, it's going to be great short term. It's going to be great because it's new. But then when you start seeing that that grass is artificial and was laid down just over some dirt, <laughs> there's no deep roots to it or anything, then you're just like, oh, wow, what was I thinking? You didn't explore it. You didn't explore it good. And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about it. Now I'm, I'm going to reiterate a third time. If it's just a bad situation, just get out, but don't jump into something new. Because here's the thing with the bad situation. You still played a part in it. You need to take time off then to see why you even got into that situation, whatever it is, and then work on the thing so you don't get into it again. Then you can move on. But jumping from one side of the fence to the other doesn't always do it. Doesn't always, like I said, it might be a rare occasion. There's always an exception, but you got to go with the law of averages. So fight that grass is greener syndrome. Too many people get hurt by it. They get hurt long term by it. So that's all I have for today. I want you to think about what I'm saying. And ultimately, that's part of what I always talk about appreciation. Learn to appreciate what you have. You know, learn to appreciate it. Now, like I said, there's some situations where you might have to move on. If that's a definite situation, definitely do it. But don't move on off of frivolous reasons, okay? So, that's all I have for today. Y'all have a great day today. Keep rising. Peace and blessings.